Welcome back to Commercial Finance Experts Academy. I'm here with my amigo Camilo Rodriguez, awesome, awesome managing broker for our Mortgages Lab. Um, I'm being proud to work with him over the years. Let me rephrase <laughs> that. I am proud to work with you, amigo. It's the other way around. You got it wrong. Advice first, I learned wrong from you. <laughs> um, so, you know, we, we had a chance to discuss here about a couple cases and what I was doing. And amigo, you asked me a question about, uh, you know, why does this happen? And your, your, your example was, I, you know, I got a small $150,000 commercial, commercial loan file. Uh, file that I worked on and at the end of it, the client ends up going away because of the high fee, the cost involved. They didn't like that and they went to the bank and got it approved. So, so it was a commercial file, so I don't get compensated by commercial files as everybody knows. That's correct. And when I addressed the issue that Broker did not get compensated that I needed to charge him a, a small fee. It wasn't even that big. Yeah. He decided to go on his own directly to the bank and they would refer to a, to a commercial or small business representative and the file was approved. It was a, it was a simple file, but it yeah. was approved there. Yeah. And I found it that's normally the case. And there is, um, based on experience, I, I've, I've, I've learned this almost by osmosis, I'd say, is that I find the bigger multi-million dollar deals are the tougher deals that are, uh, that requires more time, that, that is not so simple, has a lot of moving parts. I have a higher success, a higher ratio, and I get a higher fees and higher rates, and clients are willing to accept it. Uh, mind you, my intake is different. When, when I look at my ROI, and I always, I always look at ROI, return on my investment, and I, I do the same thing for my client. What's their ROI? So my ROI is how much time I spend, right? So for me, is time I spent for money. So I, I don't like trading time for dollars, okay? And the client sees fees, time. So there's a similar. There's this dollars first. How much time do they need to spend to get to, to, to save them the fees? So ours is the opposite. Right? Mine's opposite and theirs of what they, theirs is. So when they look at them, they say, okay, 2% uh, fee, you know, for you might not be in a hundred, on, on, say $100,000 deal, I charge minimum 2,500. And, and yeah, I'm sure you try to do the same thing. They go, 2,500, that's, that's a lot. Right? When I have a $1.2 million deal that I did recently, I charge 3%. That's $36,000. So. What's what's more, twenty five hundred dollars or thirty six thousand? You need to do like fifteen <laughs> of these, fifteen of these, to, or whatever to get to this. Right. So when when I get a client intake, uh, the first thing I look at is that to me first, I'm sorry, but it's all about me apparently. <laughs> so I look at my ROI, my return on my investment is how much time I spend away, how much money do I make. One hundred fifty thousand. Go. Oh my God, it's gonna be like three thousand, maybe four forty five hundred bucks. So is it really worth my time? You just found a solution for hair loss. <laughs> Switch from 2,500 bucks to 36,000. So then the, the hair will grow back. So my question is usually to myself, not the client. I said, I said well, I, I answer right away, okay, it's not, not worth my time. And automatically I said, no, this is not gonna be, this is not gonna be worth my time. I'm staying. So I tell the client, you know, why me? So I have to tell the client to, to explain why I should do it. Why me? Why I should do it? I, I ask the client, why? First of all, why did she choose me? Or why should I do the deal? Because I'm going, I, I'm very busy. I'm working multi-million dollar deals and I get paid you know, thirty, forty thousand dollars each. For your file, I can probably, I, 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 you know, I, I tell, I'll, I'll be fair and honest with you. I can't, I can't see myself charging you more than forty-five hundred dollars. Are you comfortable with that? If they say no, then they say great, then I got a great solution. You go straight to your bank and talk with them. Alternatively, they say, you know what, I, I, already, I already made some phone calls on a bank and they, they, they tell me to do a whole bunch of stuff. I need to get this and you do this and you do this and this and this. I said, I don't know what the hell that is. And, and when, when they come to me, they say, well, I'm, I can take care of that stuff for you. That's simple for now for me. It's an easy process. I take care of all of that. Your incorporation, I can deal with your accountant, I can deal with lawyers, I can. The lease agreements, I can help you with that and all that. Don't worry about it, I can handle everything. 
uh, connect with it. All you have to do is give me your credit card and everything else is painless and you don't have to worry about it except go to sign at the lawyer. Would you like that? Way better. Okay, if you, if, if you don't... Uh, if, if, you, if, you're, if your time is not worth this... That's exactly it. Then try, try to do yeah. it on your own. The reason why a lot of clients... Like the, the last client that I did uh, on this deal, I did for 300000 So 300000 dollars okay? This client came to me and says, Sue, I got a $300,000 mortgage I need financing. And, but just to let you be upfront with you, I'm, I'm, you know, she's a referral to an accountant. She goes, the accountant suggests I talk to you. But I want to be fair with you, Sue. I'm already working with a mortgage broker. I'm saying, great. So why do you need me? Uh, you know, I just want to see you with the best rates. So if you give me the best rates, I'll give you the business. So I'm going, I'm thinking in my head, you're not very loyal at all. Uh, first of all, you're shopping around and they're really working hard. I said, <laughs> I said you know what, if the other person experience in commercial, the, between the rates that they get, you and me, it probably... Mm, There's not going to be much difference. Infa infasystemal, I don't know what the word is. <laughs> it varies very small. It might be half percent to one percent difference. I might get a one percent lower than rate than the other guy, potentially. I'm that good, but it's not really worth my time. I, I'm, I'm, I, I told her honestly, you know, Michelle, I'm, I'm working on multi-million dollars around. I get paid thirty, forty thousand dollars. I can't see myself charging to you know three to five percent. I mean, you know, you're probably not going to be interested in paying me three to five percent, are you? Then she said yes. She said yes, <laughs> and, and as long as you give me really good rates, I don't, I don't, I don't mind. So I'm going honestly. Can you be really upfront with me? What are you getting from the other broker? And then she tells me. She didn't have an approval. No, she says, I, you know, they're working on this, but it's been like three weeks and I haven't gotten an approval yet. And uh, I said, could you just roughly tell me what your financial looks like? And she run it through real quick. Long story short, I thought, that sounds really not that bad. It sounds good. I work quick math in my head, DCR. Yeah, that should be fine. I mean, it's very doable. Uh, I can't see why he cannot get an answer within two, three business days. I mean, I could easily get an answer within 24, 48 hours for you. But I don't know. I'm, I'm very tied up right now, Michelle. Uh, and she goes, "What? Well, you know, could you, could you? Uh, okay, because the accountant's a good friend and I don't want to say no, just off of the hand of it. Send me the stuff. I can't promise anything. I'll, I'll look over the weekend and I'll give you an answer Monday. And I think it was a Thursday, just like today. And Friday, I looked at it, I looked at it, oh, this was easy. Like, this is easy, it was easy. And I, I knew I could get the, the file done in, in, in a really good rate. And I, I, got, I got her like, the rate that I got for her was 50% lower than the other guy. The other guy just went, he didn't know about commercial finance. He went straight to a B lender, a private lender. Yeah. Just nuts, right? So at the end of the day is, I asked the question, why me? Why should, I, why should you use me? What have you done already? And why don't you like it? And they have to provide you the answer. And that's the answer that, that you need. Yeah, and if it's a bad answer, I said, no, I'm not. To prove the value, okay. Yeah. It's not enough value for me. So is it value enough for me to get pay $9,450? So $9,400. Oh, yeah. 9450 bucks. I got paid. Very good. On other broker, on other channels, you will get paid for doing a mortgage for twenty four hundred bucks, fifteen hundred, fifteen hundred bucks, Ouch. and then they're competing against each other. They're competing against each other. That's right. I don't want to compete. All right, this is this is not what I do. So, hopefully, you you got this something from me out of this. Uh, it's it's not all about the fees. It's not about about me actually. It's more about what the client has and how I can help them get out of their pain. Their pain was uncertainty. For three weeks, she didn't get a good answer. And people are willing to pay for that. Yeah. So within 48 hours, roughly, I told her it's 24 hours, I told her it was doable, and I was given an answer on Monday. Matter of fact, over the weekend, I, I, I got the loan pretty much approved. <laughs> so. We don't usually work on weekends, I mentioned, but you know, I also have these commercial account managers on quick dials on cell phone and holiday. <laughs> very <laughs> so good, very good. I can, I can text someone to give me an answer, to, so I'll send them an email, they access to the, their employees, they, they work whenever, they, whenever, they, whenever can. they can, right? To get all the deals, they get performance reviews based on that. So, 
So good. Hopefully you uh, learned something from this uh, video and hopefully it's not too long-winded. Uh, you know, if you like it, click like on the videos and you comment below if you have any questions. Subscribe to the channel to get our future updates from me automatically. Uh, I actually look forward to sharing more on our future videos. Uh, and if you don't like the video, click on like anyway and subscribe to the, to the channel anyways, right? Because more videos that you will like. Just don't, 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 uh, just for one video, don't uh, think that all the videos are going to be the same. <laughs> See different. you in the next one. See you. Thank you.